Okay, this is an overview for the Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 4. I have 1, 2 and 4. I'm hoping to get 3, but this is the direct market variant cover which has the 60s or 70s cover on it. I cannot stand the standard covers. I think they look awful both for 3 and 4. And Two was just like an imitation. There's all the covers. And this collects the Amazing Spider-Man 105 to 142, Giant Size Super Heroes 1 and Marvel Super Heroes 14. There's the front. There's the spine. And there's the back. It's all that matte black stuff they seem to love to do these days. Sadly I can't read this yet because I don't have volume 3 but I'm really hoping to get that soon so that I can blaze through 2 and 3 and then get on with this. So there's the legal page, first print in 2019 and I say that because I have no doubt that, I don't know, 5 years down the line they'll do a reprint so if you're looking for a review of that this isn't that. I believe this was the first appearance of the Punisher. Well, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. There's the credits for the comics. There's your contents page. Not every omnibus has a contents page. Some do, some don't. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for whether they do or not. There's a Spider Slayer. And, you know, I love the way Spider-Man's poses have evolved from Volume 1. And General Mita had a bit big influence on this. He's, he's not the only artist. We have... John Romita, Gil Kane and Ross Andrew on art in this, rather than just one artist for the whole volume. But that's fine, because Spider-Man had left his roots behind in terms of Ditko's art and I don't mean to shit on Ditko Ditko is strange <laughs> but his art was very flat and I don't blame him but you didn't get poses like that with Ditko not really not regularly anyway a lot of his stuff it was like matchstick men and like that is you would never have got that in Dicko's Spider-Man. You've got a great view, you've got the cock in the background coming towards the foreground, you've got Spidey on a wall at an angle. Comics have really evolved at this point compared to, well Spider-Man had anyway, compared to when he first started. Because this is like 10 years, 10 years after it started. And I would expect some evolution in the art style. You get all the letters page just like you do in all the other books. I think there's only one run I've read that goes up to 100. And that's The Ultimate Spider-Man by Mark Bagley and Brian Michael Bendis. And I would say his art didn't really evolve, if anything. I mean, it practically stayed the same for the entire run, but if anything at all, it there was one thing where he did he he got a little bit worse, and that is in the first issue or the first couple, he did these close-ups of people's faces, and that that was really good because it allowed him to add a lot of detail to faces where he wouldn't normally add it, and then he stopped doing that, and I don't know why. Now this scene here was also in the JMS Omnibus. This is volume 1, I have volume 2 on order, I just don't know if it's going to arrive. Um, and 
there was a story called Sins Past, <laughs> which everybody hates. And it turns out Gwen Stacy had an affair with Norman Osborne, and she had his kids, and they're the bad guys in this story. And this is issue 121, I think it is. Yeah, 121. This is at the height of Norman Osborn being the Goblin. He's issues away from having the fight on the bridge. You see them going down the stairs there? That's that panel. That's the exact panel. So they're in the wrong order, but you got MJ in her 70s red Indian jacket. You got Peter in a suit looking around and Gwen walking down with her handbag. And you get the exact same thing here. MJ in a jacket, Gwen walking down with her handbag, Peter in a suit looking around. So if you want to know exactly where this memory in original sin or sins past sorry where that fits in in the classic spider-man stuff it's issue 121 and at this point harry is doing the drugs and he's going cold turkey and peter and mj and gwen go to look after him but then of course shit goes down I'm really glad they changed Luke Cage's style really am I like that they kept the yellow though again the colours look there's there's John Jameson Jr. Ever the guy Marvel don't know what to do with. He's been an astronaut, he's been a werewolf, he's been a security guard at, at uh, Ravencroft. He's that unemployable guy that just spends his life in the job centre. Uh, yeah, the, the colours and all the art looks really good because the blacks look like actual blacks and the colours look nice and clean and vibrant. Pages are fairly glossy. I've seen glossier but these are perfectly fine, no complaints whatsoever. One of the issues I have with older comics is, especially when they were reprinted in comics, is that when inkers would colour in black, like there or that there, you would quite often be able to see brush strokes and I, d I didn't like that and it put me off older comics but it's been touched up here and blacks no longer have brush strokes they are just black and that's a good thing in my opinion it's the Punisher is this the first Appearance of the Punisher? No, I don't, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it is. I think he was in it earlier. Oh, yeah, the fucking spider car. This was a problem. You know, you ha Ar Green Arrow had one as well. He had the Arrow Cave. And you just didn't need... A guy that could go like 60 miles an hour swinging between buildings didn't need a fucking car. There's the classic Aunt May Marion Docock episode uh, issue, even. Really do like the artwork in this. Michael Morbius. He first appeared in uh, Volume 3. It's Frank again. There's the cover of the book.
I like this image. <laughs> this is the 70s, early 70s. Oh, that's the church that's actually in New York. And it's, isn't that the one he, um, Spider-Man, after he caught MJ in the first movie, didn't he swing past that? I think he did. Um, I like this image because there's uh, an image in Frank Miller's Daredevil run, which he drew, where he's saying, uh, he's sitting in his apartment and he looks outside and he's saying, I wish I had no troubles and I could just have a normal relationship like the couple out there. And it's Peter and MJ walking past Matt's apartment and they're walking pretty much like that, carefree and everything. And you just look at them like that and you think they're a normal couple and you have you would never guess that's pretty cool you would never guess that you know spider-man has all these issues that interferes with their relationship here's the jackal And that's the the last comic. And then you get all the stuff in the back. You, this time you got a postcard, you got covers, you got adverts, you got puzzles that were in the comic. So you get puzzles as well as the letters. I don't know why they didn't just put the puzzles by the letters. Because the letters were printed at the end of each issue in this. They may as well have just put the puzzles there as well. But whatever. It's all in here. There's the pencils, breakdowns, layouts. Marvel Tales covers, which I still don't know what they are. I'm still guessing they're reprinted stories. Get an introduction by Stan Lee at the back of the book because why not get afterwards that's the standard cover and I hate it it's not that it's a bad piece of art actually it is a bad piece of art why is the Green Goblin's face there in a square why is there I, I mean I know this is the death of Gwen Stacy right I get that the bridge the Green Goblin Gwen Stacy Spider-Man death I get it but there are so many other ways, so many other images that could have been the standard cover, even new images, and you know what we get is this, and it's it's shit, absolute shit, and this is why I prefer the direct market covers because it contains stuff from the original years, the original covers you know what you're going to get when you order a direct market variant cover you know it's going to match the book perfectly so yes i absolutely recommend you get this and i hope you've enjoyed my overview of the amazing spider-man omnibus volume 4